I just finished designing these fun little tripods. I'm going to be showing you how to build one, but first, let's check out what they can do. Not much really. I mean, they're tripods. Magnets and these little knobs to keep them in the closed position. And for being 3D printed, they're surprisingly stiff, so they won't come apart that easily. The foot pads, as well as that top pad for the gear, are made out of TPU, so nothing gets scratched. The thin profile makes them uncomplicated to carry around. You can choose between longer and shorter legs. The shorter ones are going to be able to hold more weight. Here's a quick demonstration with 500 grams of copper wire. You can choose any color combination you would want. For this print, I'm using Bamboo Lab Basic PLA. Also, keep in mind that the tolerances change with what material you use. For example, this tripod I printed out of matte PLA and the feet are harder to move. This can be a good or a bad thing, you decide. Here's the hardware that we're gonna be using. Some screws, some dowel pins, some magnets, that's really it. I decided to sell a kit that includes everything you need. This kit will be much cheaper if you pair it with one of my other kits. Also, this greatly supports my work. But let's have a look at what tools I used for assembly. A Phillips and hex screwdriver and some plastic glue. All right, let's start with the center. Insert the quarter inch nut and screw in the bolt. Now attach your legs to the studs using an M2 screw. Push them into the center piece, slide through the dowel pins and make sure that they are centered. Attach the cover with the remaining M2 screws. Add some glue into the holes for the magnets and push them in. Make sure you get the polarity right. The last leg gets the M3 screw. Adjust its depth so that the legs properly come together, but obviously they should still magnetize. So there's that sweet spot you need to find. Now glue in your TPU pads. I like putting some weight on top to let them dry properly. Slide on the TPU pad on the top. It should fit nicely. It doesn't need any glue. And we're done. I hope you enjoyed this video and the build. If so, please consider subscribing and stay tuned for more. Thank you for supporting me. Have a great day.